Emergency rule is still in effect in Pakistan. Gallup finds Americans are well aware of Pakistan's growing instability. Pakistan's president, Pervez Musharraf, said he imposed emergency rule to gain control of rogue terrorist organizations in and around the country. But he also went on to talk about new judicial activism and its interference with government activities, which many experts contend is the primary reason behind his ruling. Musharraf has been one of the U.S. government's stronger allies in the Middle East, and the country's current state of unrest will likely affect U.S. foreign policy in the region. I spoke with Ambassador Schaefer, the director of CSIS's South Asia program, to help further clarify the situation in Pakistan and decipher why exactly it should matter to Americans. What matters to the U.S in the first instance is how Pakistan affects our efforts in Afghanistan. Second big issue for the United States uh, is the violent extremism in Pakistan. Third issue, Pakistan is after all a nuclear armed country. And the fourth issue for the United States is that Pakistan is a country where the institutions are weak and the political uh, environment troubled. Uh, in order to have a sustainable approach you have to have a more stable and sound political environment and you have to start rebuilding Pakistan's civilian institutions. In October 2007, Gallup found that only 2% of Americans thought Pakistan was the greatest threat to stability in the world. But now, only one month later, the situation is very different. Should Americans fear Pakistan? I think Pakistan is a real danger to stability in the world, partly because of geography. It's sitting next to Afghanistan, and the border has always been a largely ungoverned one. Pakistan is also now dealing with its own homegrown violent extremists who have been uh, attacking army buses and army messes uh, and who have been really thumbing their nose at the government in ways that no self-respecting government can put up with. One of the U.S. government's main interests in Pakistan is its involvement in helping to control terrorist groups in and around the region. Without the cooperation of the Pakistani government, U.S. efforts in neighboring Afghanistan and within Pakistan itself could very well worsen. In August 2007, Gallup found that just over half of Americans supported sending U.S. troops to Pakistan if they had actionable intelligence about terrorist operations. But considering the latest developments in Pakistan, would this still be a wise decision? Maybe the United States would be able to mount some quick operation, but then they would leave. They wouldn't be planning to stay around for a while. Then they would leave. And then what would you have? You would have a sanctuary on steroids. The current situation in Pakistan is very unpredictable, and how long it will last is anybody's guess. But with the upcoming U.S. elections, Pakistan will likely be on the minds of the U.S. presidential candidates. And according to Gallup, the American people as well, 91% of whom think it's important for all candidates to have a plan of action when it comes to Pakistan. The U.S. needs to continue working with the Pakistani military, but it needs to work with that in the context of strengthening Pakistan's civilian institutions, its ability to choose its own government, the political legitimacy of that government, which is not something we can give, that's something the Pakistani people have to give and recognize. That's the only way I can see where you can get a happy ending to this story that lasts any length of time. I'm Yasmin Vesugian, and join us again to hear more voices from around the world. <laughs>